Hi, my name is Rich Medeiros. I'm one of the senior systems engineers here at TACO. Today we're going to learn how to generate and read a centrifugal pump curve. The importance of reading a centrifugal pump curve is so that we make the selection appropriate for the system that the pump is going to be used in. One of the things that we look for is to make sure that we select a pump that has the best efficiency for the overall system application. I know you'll enjoy this video, so come along with me and we'll see what it's all about. Pump curves. Knowing how to read them is important for every HVAC professional. To generate a pump curve, we collect physical data from the pump running in the test lab. We mount the pump in a test stand with various instruments and collect the four most important pieces of information. Pump flow in gallons per minute. Pressure differential measured in feet of head. Speed in RPM. And the horsepower consumption of the pump at different flow rates when equipped with impellers of different diameters. We put all this data into a table from which we can plot the pump curve on a chart like this. On the y-axis is the pressure in feet of head. Down here on the x-axis is flow in GPM. Now we plot the various data points on the chart and connect them with a smooth curve. This is the curve for this particular pump with the largest impeller diameter. In this case, it's 9.25 inches. We do the same thing with the data points for an 8-inch diameter impeller and a 6.75-inch impeller. Now, you can use this chart to choose a pump that meets the requirements of your system. Let's say you need to pump 325 gallons per minute at 80 feet of head. You find 325 gallons per minute on the x-axis and draw a line vertically, and find 80 feet of head on the y-axis and draw a line horizontally. Where those two lines intersect is the operating point of the system. That point falls on the performance curve for this particular pump with a 9.25 inch impeller, which means you can select this pump knowing that it has the capacity to meet the needs of your system. So there you have it. Now you know the fundamentals on how to read a pump curve. So that's how you generate and read a centrifugal pump curve. Why is it important? because you want to make the best selection for your system application. Be sure to check out our website to get more information. I'm Rich Medeiros, Senior Systems Engineer here at TACO. Thanks a lot.